All right, welcome back to the Pioneer Cuts YouTube channel. I'm Tim, the Ballistic Machinist, and today we got another uh, tip and trick for you guys. We've got some titanium weldments that we're working on, and to be able to hit all the different angles and make everything work, we've got a fixture here in the 5-axis UMC, and we're going to go over using a tooling ball to pick up from one setup to another setup. So I'll show you what I've got going on over here. So this is what we've got. This is a titanium weld mint. And if any of you have ever worked with weld mints, you'll know that everything's not always 100% square and flat because as you, you heat the material up to do the welding, things bend and stretch. And that's why they have to be machined after the fact. So on this one, this is our... our master plane that we have to work with and this is our zero hole and from this surface and the center of this hole we have to align everything else the holes that go in here the flats that are in this piece right here there's some that come down on these two tabs it's kind of hard to see so we have to set all that up and make it work and you would think, seems how we're in a five axis, it would be simple just to set your zero here and flip it around and do everything. When I went to program it, the programming software got confused and it will not rotate everything around correctly because the machine's not set on zero. So we have to use a tooling ball in here and then we will bring it around to the top plane so the machine is set right and then we can pick up from this tooling ball and I will go sh through and show you how to do that and then we'll be able to continue machining once everything's in the proper orientation and the cam system can figure out the correct tilts to make the part. All right, so now that we have our tooling ball in here, and we have the plane that we talked about before, this being perfectly flat to each other, and we have the center of that hole picked up, we've got to bring it from where we have it aligned up to the vertical plane so that the spindle is looking down at it like this so we can get the rest of the UMC in line so that the program can do the correct moves to hit the rest of our stuff. So we're going to bring it down into position after I close the door. Alright, so we're going to bring it down into position. And now I have the program set for the center of the ball to be zero. So we'll go through picking up this ball and zeroing it up. Alright, so we got our probe down here and I've got it roughly aligned to the center of that ball and I'm going to go into the probing cycle on the on the UMC here and I'm going to do one for doing a boss. I do want to touch the top of the part. I got it set roughly 200 thousandths above it's a half inch sphere, and I only want it to go down about 150 thou because it will hit the, the stud or the rest of the ball on the angle if we try to go all the way down. So let's go ahead and touch that off and see what it does. Alright, so now it picked that up, but it's super important that we touch the very top of the sphere so when we make the correction to get to the center, we know we hit the highest point, so I would always run that twice. Alright, I always like to double check everything, even though we touched off with the probe. So, here we are, right there at zero. Still right 
perfectly at zero. And there we are. Right back at zero. So that's our three point method for going around that ball. And we know that we are 100% zero to that ball. And I have all that drawn right into the CAD. So all we have to do is go into our work offset and drop it a quarter of an inch to get to the center of the ball. And we will have the new zero picked up for this part so we can swing it around to do all of the work and have everything perfectly aligned in three-dimensional space.